Now that we know what pointillism is, I am going to show you a drawing technique called stippling, which is the process of drawing out of many dots. So when you make your dots with your marker, try not to do this. When I go in a really fast and random motion, I don't exactly get dots. I get streaks like this. So instead, take your time, use only the point of your marker, and when you make your dots, try to bring them close together and as best as you can, evenly spaced apart. If you want your color to look darker, you can always go back to the white spaces between the dots and add more dots. The more dots you have, the darker it's going to look. So that when I take a step back, This looks like a more unified area of shade. So let's practice some shading using the stippling technique. If you look at the example of the cylinder, you'll see that in some areas there are more dots than others. That is because there is a shadow on the cylinder as light is hitting it on one side. The lighter the area, the fewer dots there will be. The darker the area where the shadow is, the more dots there will be. So in following this example, I'm going to start really light first. I'm going to avoid the side where the light is hitting the cylinder and just start making dots in the middle. And I'll have them spaced out far apart for now. As you can see, I'm not going in a fast motion and I'm trying to evenly space out each dot. I'll try to get some on the corners there. Not too many will be here because this is where the light is, but there is going to be, there are going to be a lot of dots where the shadow is. And also on the top, because the cylinder is turning away from me, and it's also turning away from the light, so that's going to be a darker area. If I want to make it darker, I can always add dots to the white spaces in between. So I think I filled out most of the cylinder with dots for now. So I'm going to take a step back and now I need to make it a little darker on the side where the cylinder is turning away from the light because that's where the shade is. So I'll start on the top of the cylinder here adding dots in between the white spaces so that looks like a shaded area and then I'll add some more dots to the middle because that's where the cylinder is turning away from the light so we have the light coming in here and as the cylinder turns away we're going to start to see more of a shadow and then on this far side right here the light is turning away the most, so we're going to see most of the shadow here. So once again, I'm looking at the white spaces between each dot, and I'm adding more dots. The more dots there are, the darker it is. Let me take a step back. As you can see, I have light here, so fewer dots. It's darker here, so we're going to add more dots. And just a few here where there's not as much shadow. Now let's practice stippling with color. I'm going to go ahead and shade the red one with you using the same method I used for shading the cylinder. This time I'm not too worried about light and shadow. I just want to color this box red, but the way I'm coloring it is with the stippling technique. Again, I'm trying to evenly space my dots as much as possible. And if I want it to look darker, I can always Go in between the dots as best as I can. By the way, if you overlap over a dot, 
that's okay as long as you are more or less trying your best to evenly space the dots from each other when you take a step back it's going to blend nicely so i hope you took some time to shade the red yellow and blue boxes using the stippling technique i'm going to use that same technique but this time to mix colors so i'll walk you through the first box over here where it says red plus yellow I'm actually going to use my yellow marker first because if I put my red dots first and then put yellow over it, I might get red color on my yellow marker and that might affect my yellow color the next time that I put the yellow marker down. So just to be a little safe, I'll start with the yellow marker and my dots are pretty far spaced apart because I want to leave room for the red marker because I'm going to mix them. That's really light, the yellow, so I hope you can see that. Now, I'll go ahead with my red marker and go in the white spaces in between the yellow dots. And just like I said before, the more dots, the darker it looks. The less dots, the lighter it looks. I'd like mine to be a little darker, so I'll go ahead and add a little more yellow color. I've got red dots here, so I've got to be careful not to get too much red marker on my yellow color because I'll need it again for this next box over here. And once again, I'll take my red marker and go between the white spaces. Now, if my red marker goes over the yellow marker or vice versa, that's okay if there's a little overlap over the dots. It will blend together nicely, just like when we shaded the cylinder. Just make an effort to evenly space them as much as possible so that one area doesn't look darker than another, unless you intend it to, like when we were shading the cylinder. Okay, so now when I take a step back, I have more dots, so it not only looks darker, but now when I take a step back, it seems like I've got a brand new color. I hope you took the time to blend all the colors below, because now it should look like you have three brand new colors. The first three, red, yellow, and blue, are called primary colors, because they are not mixed with any other color. But the new colors you have by mixing them, orange, green, and purple, are called secondary colors because they are made by the blending of primary colors. Now, you might be thinking, well, I have an orange marker, I have a green marker, and I have a purple marker, so why would I mix these colors? Well, if you compare the result of the mixed color versus the color provided by your marker box, if you have a full set, notice that when you mix the colors, it actually looks a little more colorful and it has a very vibrant look. That is what the pointillist painters discovered. So they made their paintings as colorful as possible by blending different dots.